morning morning on the west coast everybody michelle is back on this saturday september the 28th 2024 on a saturday i want to come back through and give uh, part three um about the awakening devastating consequences awaiting those operating with criminal energy also known as negative energy I wanted to come on back and talk to, first I talked to the cult leaders, you know, I put out a video just recently, part two, talking to the cult followers. And then I want to put out this one video about uh, the biological woman and how the biological woman is going to also uh, be awakening to devastation and due to the consequences, you know, but operating with criminal energy. And I'm going to tell you what that mean means in a minute. Uh, this is this is um, very very important to me. It's a very um, it's a very um, you know everything everything is controversial these days. You know everybody gets bothered by this, everybody gets bothered by that. It's always there's always a a personal component to things, and people think if I get all upset and get angry that you know that people will stop talking about certain things. You know that manipulation with the emotions and uh, feelings. And so normally that um, manipulation with emotions and feelings are coming from biological women. Biological women have learned over the course of time because we have been around, even though biological women or women in general are not uh, mentioned in some of these uh, historical books, you know, there's always philosophers and psychiatrists and uh, these uh, messengers and prophets and all that all have always been males. You know what I mean? Always talked about as males, especially in these uh, historical books and especially in religion. Religion, I, do, I mean, I don't think women are mentioned at all in, 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 in some of these religious books, scientific books. And without women, there are no there are no scientific events. There are no cultures there, you know, without the biological woman. But it's but we manage over the course of de uh, thousands of years to see women as subjugation, to be subjugated, submissive, you know, subservient, to, you know, to usually biological men or men in general or that male energy, you know, women, biological women are supposed to uh, bestow ourselves, bowing, being submissive, subservient, scared, and allowing a man, a biological man, supposedly to run things or that masculine energy. When it's also, but it, but it's a yin yang, you cannot accept, uh, separate that. It's a yin and a yang. Your gender, you know, as I've said, is male and female, man and woman. But your masculine and feminine can be either or. For example, a man can love a man, a woman can love a woman. Okay, it's what they think. It's the thinking part that 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 is the the. The damage, that's where the damage is done with the thinking. You know, thinking you're a man when you have the biologically, the biological components of a, uh, of a woman, or thinking you are a woman when you have the biological components of a man. Plenty of videos out there about that. And it's all based on confusion. It's not based on hatred. You know, I mean, because if, it, if you think nature is hating you, okay, that, that that's where they're illogical, because it's all based on a natural course of things and so over the course of time we've allowed you know people that were seriously seriously uh uh ill and they were ill in their consciousness ill in their psyche about how they were uh and wounded also more so uh and and, and lack confidence when they were attempting to to um relay to all of us about what it means to be a human being and how we originated and this and that and the other. Nothing but massive, massive, massive confusion. And so, but the woman, let's get to, let's get back to the, bon the, the, the bonus part of this. And this is about the biological woman and how the biological woman is being used more than any other time in history to uh, destroy humanity. Okay, they may not be aware of it. They may be actively involved in it, which I I, I, I accept that more. You know, I accept that more because uh, a lot of this stuff is conscious, conscious intention. Uh, you know that you know the biological woman is conscious and aware of what she is partaking into, 
or what she's involving herself into because of jealousy and envy. That 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 energy of jealousy and envy is unlike anything uh, any one of us have uh, 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 ever experienced in our lives. So all you got to do is think about, because we all have been jealous at some point. Think about how that feels and what it does to your body when you're jealous. Okay, now I match envy with that. And, see, and, and that's how combustible that is and how dangerous that is and what it could cause uh, to anyone on the receiving end of it. To be on the receiving end of jealousy and envy is combustible and is usually destructive to be on the receiving end of it. So a lot of biological women have, uh, you know, been indoctrinated to be participate in such behavior where their jealousy and envy is what's running the show, it is what's causing uh, the, the destruction of the planet. And uh, by the, and, and the reason why I say that is that you can get some women, biological women, in, in certain cults, and I told you they can easily separate from separate themselves from their biological children with ease especially when they become indoctrinated and believe that a biological man is you know at the top of the pyramid and sometimes a lot of women have placed themselves there too there are a lot of hierarchical women at the top of these pyramids okay it's not just men okay that are operating on this negative criminal energy Meaning that a biological woman have no problem uh, uh, taking the life away from their biological children. I don't want to say certain words because you know we all know what what, what words I'm talking about. They have no no uh, compassion, empathy, or care about what they do to their own biological children. If they can take the life away from them, they will. And and jealousy and envy usually has a lot to do with that. The energy of jealousy and envy. Um, unfortunately, we're going to see a lot of this kind of stuff happening on this planet from now on, where there are going to be seem there are going to be certain acts of um, violence, terror, torture coming from the biological woman. Okay, and what has to be accepted is it just comes with the territory when you are. When we are so massively overpopulated, we're confused. Our energies are pinging all over the place, pinging all over the place. We're interfering with the development with a lot of people in their consciousness because we're massively overpopulated. We're in each other's face. We're interfering with each other's energy. And so when you have someone susceptible and opening themselves up to jealousy and envy, that is combustible, okay, and it's deadly. And unfortunately, because of our massive overpopulation, you're going to find biological women participating in acts of violence, acts of destruction, unlike anything you've ever seen in your life, ever. And so what I want to come in, come on through and say to this, say to you, um, you know, the women out there that know, you know what you're doing with this criminal energy. You know, you usually want to read palms. You want to, uh, you want to project these so, so-called irrelevant zodiac signs on on society, you know, that's how you make your living. We talk about witchcraft. We talk about, usually this is all women, women-based. You know, the, the ones that think they understand the energy because they they know they have that lure. You know, they have that, that sexual appeal to people like myself and others. You have that, 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 that appeal. You have that energy. You have that femininity. That That is what... Uh, you know, the, the masculine energy is seeking, you know, they want and they need and they, you know, there's this need for that feminine energy. Thankfully for me, I have a balanced, neutralized uh, amount of masculine energy and I see feminine energy. I made that very clear and I know it when I see it. I know it when I feel it. I know when I can, I know when I'm being manipulated. I know when I'm being used I know when I'm being taken advantage. You know, I know all that stuff. But now, since I'm mature and I'm healed, you know, I, 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 you know, hey, I play along with it too. I get myself, you know, I play along with it. But I know, I know what aligns with me. Okay, I know that, and uh, I'm very um, um, confident about that. But at the same time, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean a lot of mean a lot you know um 
you know, because like I said, because of the, the destruction of the planet, the uh, imbalance and such with the energy, the encasement of negativity, you know, it's just, it's just, um, you know, sometimes it's just going to be very unpleasant. It's going to be an unpleasant um, uh, realities that we all have to face, whether we're with our, our, you know, whether we're with our alignment or not, it's still going to be a difficult journey. Whether I walk it, sing, you know, because I'm, yeah, we all walking on a, a different path. Yes. Some of us are walking on the same journey together, but we still have our own responsibilities as to how we develop ourselves. We could still be a couple. We could still be married. We could still be in partnership. We could still be in a love relationship, blah, blah, blah. You know, each one, like my parents, Yes, they were married for almost over 50 years before they both passed away. But they had their own complexities. They had their own personalities. They had their own goals and stuff like that. But they supported each other in their journeys together. They supported each other. They were there for each other. And that's the commitment they made to each other. So now let's talk about this biological woman and the negativity and the destruction. She is going to... You know, inflict upon humanity. Okay, because of our massive, massive, massive overpopulation, almost tenfold, meaning we have a lot of us on this planet that's destroying the planet, our overpopulation. At the same time, our consciousness and our psyches are damaged. Some are irreparable. Okay, and that will be a, a series of not only biological men but biological women as well. Are going to be inflicting just as much harm. And just as much uh, devastation onto humanity, you know, your eyes, you know, your eyes, you, you know, your eyes uh, are the mad, it's like magical, you know, and that I know that's, a, that's, that's just a metaphor, but your eyes are like a window to uh, lust, you know what I mean? And um, sexuality, uh, feeling good, uh, intoxication, you know, you, your, your eyes can be intoxicating. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, your eyes, and you know that. So I'm saying this to, to the to the biological women out there that know that you are intentionally attempting to harm people with your with your abilities and that sexual feminine energy that is so sought after. You are, for some reason, even though you have all of that, you still feel with rage and 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 jealousy. I, I told you about Queen Nefertiti. You know, and what happened with her, do the research. I have videos out there about her and what she turned out to be and why she turned out to be, you know, jealousy and envy. I mean, it is unreal with that, that force of, neg and that's part of that encasement of negativity that has uh, swirled itself into a lot of people's reality. And, they, and it's hard to escape it. Just like being a cult follower. You know, some people are cult followers of that feminine energy that so many biological women know how to, how to, uh, you know, uh, incorporate it into their, how they, how they look at you, you know, how they walk, how they talk, you know, and, um, I mean, it, I mean, it's beautiful, you know, it's beautiful. Like I told you about, um, uh, Medusa, Medusa, right? And then what she had, what she had, that feminine energy. But, you know, there was some danger there as well with her. And and, I, and a lot of it was, you know, um, um, built up from, you know, let's just say 2,000 years ago where women were seen as property, women, you know, were seen as um, objects. And over the course of time, that, that built up a lot of rage and anger in, into the biological woman. Uh, rightfully so, you know, when you're being subjugated, you know, and you're told to be submissive and bowing and, and, and you know you have more power than that. You knew you were equal to the biological man. But at the same time, there were some damage done. I told you there are some women that welcome being subjugated. They welcome being submissive. They welcome being subservient because they, they are under this religious indoctrinating beliefs that, that that is the role of a woman. No, the role of the woman <laughs> is to be equal to the role of a man. You know, the you need the yin and the yang 
And without the biological woman, there would be no man. There wouldn't be this masculinity of what we call biological men. Okay? So a lot of women know that they have their power, but they allow that power to degenerate them, make them deviant, make them uh, dangerous. And because of that, 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 that jealousy and envy, you know, of other women, usually. I mean, and most, and I would say 99% of the time, it's because of another woman. That rage, that jealousy and envy conjures up. And by any means necessary, they're going to take these women out just, just because. It's not necessarily because they want that man. It's that power they want. They know they have that power, that femininity power. It's dangerous if misused. No more, no more differently than the masculine. The masculine energy, <clears throat> energy of the biological man has, has degenerated to uh, almost a savagery, monstrous uh, uh, reality. And the same thing can happen with women too, biological women too. You know, uh, they can, but they do it with their sexuality and how they're moving, their eyes. Usually, the eyes is what does it especially for me, and I'm sure for others. A lot of people, you know, we do um, objectify women, sure. Um, and that is how a lot of them win, win men over, win women over too. You know, you're going to find a lot of these uh, these women with this, this, this uh, intoxicating sexuality, how they move, how they look at you, and how they talk, you know, their sounds and tones. They're going to lure you in. And then they're going to destroy you. Okay? So pay attention to that. That's happening. You're going to find a lot of... Because, you know, women are women can be... Biological women can be serial killers too now. Okay? Keep that in mind. And chances are they have been. But they've been um, ignored, so to speak, because they do things... Uh, with poison, you know, you know that's why they're so into witchcraft and potions and casting spells, and I know that's that that type of energy is real to them, but they don't realize they're misusing that energy. That that is not the purpose of that energy. But you know, you have to learn from your mistakes, and some of you are not. Some of you are continuing with this this potion and claiming that you can talk to the dead and claiming you can talk to someone's dead relatives and, and claiming you have all this power. Anyone can be indoctrinated. Unfortunately, I said that myself and others. It doesn't matter about our consciousness, but then we usually get over it once we just snap out of it. Okay, once you have a developed consciousness and it's developing, you know, you can, yeah, you'll be susceptible to it, but then you usually survive. I put out a video that of uh, when I first, when all this started happening to me in 2022, I think I put a video out in 2020, the, the beginning of 2023, I can't remember, you know, explaining my, um, explaining my experiences. And women, I, I can guarantee you, biological women had a lot to do with that as to why I was going through all sorts of kind of things, you know what I mean? I, I still got, I was able to get over it because I felt like I was, uh, uh, even though all that stuff was happening to me, I still felt that somebody or someone w or something or some people were looking out for me. And, uh, you know, and, and that is what happens as well. I said that too. Even though people are uh, pulled in to do this, this, this negative uh, behaviors, negative energy behaviors and actions, there's always one or two that, you know, are looking out for humanity, looking out to protect humanity from that. But they know that they have to be silent about it, but their, action, their actions and behaviors can speak for themselves. They know that no one has to know because this is inner, work, inner workings, inner workings. So I just want to put this out, you know, to the uh, biological woman out there, you know. Um, sadly, you will be inflicting a lot of harm on to humanity because of your jealousy and envy and the fact that you you refuse to heal you some of you enjoy as i said swirling around in pain and anger and rage and emotions and you know you you know that turns you on actually that that turns you on sexually actually 
have all this rage and anger and this and that's why you want to just devour people sexually devour you know you sometimes you like that that harm you know it hurts so bad you know you like stuff that hurts and you like the pain and all that you know it, it, it's a it's, it's it's damaged consciousness damaged uh, psyches it's degenerate okay it's deviant is um it's dangerous again it's dangerous and I, I you know it's destructing destructive you know it you know that's why a lot of biological women like this get into their emotions and I mean they, you know and, and, and it can be uh feverish I mean that that fire behind all of that all of that um energy you know that criminal energy you know so yeah women can women can be serial killers too okay be psychopaths sociopaths narcissistic too but they do it you know with their sexuality their objects you know their breasts their butt their eyes their lips you know the way they gesture and move you know they know how to move and just and it turns you know people you know if you have a masculine energy and then you seek that feminine energy that that will turn you on instantly that's when they know they got you you know they got you with them hips you know those and more especially their eyes they got you you know and so a lot of men are going to be victims of that it comes with the territory because usually they're operating off the same kind of frequency anyway you know the man is doing it to the woman but and the woman is doing it to the men and women men and women the women are doing that all they need to like i said they just need to move a certain way walk a certain way and then they got you okay but not all biological women are operating in that way a lot of bio, other biological genuine women are just looking for you know the, you know looking for a companion they're looking for someone to share their lives with they're looking for partnership they're looking for more than anything intimacy and intimacy is something very deep and personal between the individuals Something that you and your part, you know, you and your partner cultivate together. You know, it's, it's 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 about looking into each other's eyes with genuine love and purpose. You know, where you touch each other, where you, you know, you know, I mean, it, it's something that can be created and it can be so beautiful between two people. You know, whether it's uh, intimate intimacy between a man and a man, a woman and a woman, man and a woman biologically you know you, that that can happen okay so there are genuine beautiful loving biological women out there that you know that they they, they, they they just want what they want what they need and want what they want they have no uh agendas by wanting to hurt people you know but sometimes they are mixed into that it's unfortunately that you can get yourself mixed up in that and not realize that you're in a cult okay uh, and then what you have to do is be creative and, and, and see how you can kind of get yourself out of it safely. So I wanted to give this bonus uh, video about, um, you know, the consequences, you know, the uh, devastating, um, the awakening devastating consequences, you know, that are wait, awaiting those operating with criminal energy. Okay, it's not just men. You know, it's, you know, it's women doing that as well. Okay, and that explains a lot of the confusion about the biological aspects. You know, it's about that feminine energy. And it's driving a lot of uh, biological men crazy, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. And that's why they want a piece of it. Okay, and, and that's just massive confusion. They want a piece of that feminine energy because they know it's powerful. You know, that feminine energy can, it can gravitate and take on you know, I mean, it's a powerful, a powerful drug that can be devastating and dangerous and, uh, you know, fatal for a lot of people if you're not paying attention and you're not developing yourself property properly. Okay, so that's a, that's, I'm just giving a little bit of a bonus. I've said a lot about the biological woman and the beauty of the, the biological woman. It is, at the end of the day, it's about that feminine energy, though. And that feminine energy can be, uh, uh, warped into degeneracy, warped into um, uh, deviancy, perversion. Okay, it's not just men. Women can operate th that way as well. Biological women can operate as such. <sighs> just breathe. 
take this in, take breaks, relax, breathe, suspend your ego, suspend your labeling, your beliefs, your convictions, your faith, just breathe, relax, and understand that what you have to do is work on what's inside of you, not so much of what's outside of you, whether you are a man or a woman, biological man or a woman, okay? Do not allow yourself to continue to be object objectified, and don't you continue to do that to others with your eyes, your hips, your breasts, you know, the way you move, your seduction, okay? It's being revealed, but unfortunately the damage has been done, and a lot of people are in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the uh, firing line of that feminine energy, that deviant fe feminine energy, degenerate feminine energy, dangerous feminine energy, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. I got more to say about this later. Just, just cultivate that. Understand that it's not just a masculine energy that's causing an imbalance and danger and dangerous. It's that feminine energy as well. And, and the beauty of it. I mean, it's very alluring. I know it when I see it. I know it when I see it. And just like anyone, anyone else who seeks that, you know, who wants that and, and, and know how beautiful and loving it can be to be in a partnership with someone with that feminine energy or be in a relationship or be in a marriage with that. You know, I understand why my dad loved my mom and I understand why my mom loved my dad. You know, it's that energy, that masculine and feminine energy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over stars and moon and mountains. This is just, just, just a little taste of what is in store and what I can help some of you resolve if you choose to but you need to seek me out i'm not going to seek you out i'm going to allow my sounds and tones to resonate because it does and i know it does and you know we'll we'll take it from there but it has to be uh something willfully and you have to remember it is all free will and no one has to know so peace and love and trust me i'll be back